What is up, everyone? It's BlazeKid67 here, and I don't know why the heck people want me to play this game so bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Dagon Rampa. We'll see how this game goes. Um, it's a visual novel game, I guess, and it, it reminds me of Persona just a little bit, but I've never heard of it until my um, Persona video, because everyone on my Persona video is like, hey, you should play this game if you like Persona so much. And, you know, I love the Persona story, the music, and all that. So, hopefully, this game has something as good as Persona. I don't know. I never played this game before. So, let, let's just jump into this because, honestly, I don't even know what to think of this game right now. Please select the difficulty. Difficulty logic. All right, I'll go gentle. Go gentle. I'm malicious. If it's like Persona and this is an Atlas made game. You already know. Malicious is going to be crazy. So we'll, we'll go gentle. Gentle on me. Alright, so let, let's jump into this game. <laughs> it's not even a game, really. What the hell is this? Uh-oh. This the intro? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell? What was that, like Teddy in another life? Teddy's little brother? The space dirty! Liftoff commences now! Holy mother of God. Holy shit. It's Teddy's little 2D brother. What was the point in that? Oh! What the hell did you do? What the fuck? You literally just killed that guy. Whoa, oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Ooh, okay, okay, we got jump scares in this game. Jump scares confirmed. All right, so the enormous academy towered over the city central, upper class residential district. It was like the whole world revolved, revolved around that place. Ah, the school. Uh oh. Oh, I like this music. This fairly accredited, super-privileged academy gathers students of the highest caliber in all fields. So it can groom them to be the best of the best. Graduating is said to guarantee a life of success. What is- how do you say that? Kabogany Academy has been producing top-tier prospects in every discipline for hundreds of years. You know I butcher stuff, guys. You already know me and butchering. Fostering students in, home the, in whom the country can place their hope. Is aptly referred to as Hope's Academy. That I can say that better. Let's keep calling it Hope's Academy. There are two qualifications one must meet to enroll. One, you must currently be enrolled in high school. And two, you must excel in all subjects. Sounds like a Japanese thing. There is no application process. All new students are scouted by the academy. And yet, there I was. A boy named Blaze. Standing before the gates to an academy as superbly, supremely amazing as that. Is that me? My name is Mikado? It's a little by the books, but I want to start off by introducing myself. My name is Mikado Nuegi. Nueji. Nueji. See, I'm just butchering stuff left and right. It's coming, guys. I'm telling you. I am just as I appear to be. A helplessly ordinary average high school student and I'm not a whole lot different on the inside either I'm not particularly skilled at anything nor am I all that eccentric or really extraordinary at all I don't have any special tastes or interests I'm not a mutant and I don't possess a stand if you want to know my favorite actor my favorite comic my favorite band or my favorite movie just look at the charts and there you go whatever's number one that's more than likely it Ordinary to an almost cliche degree. The most average of the average. That's me. Starting things off so by the books. With an introduction, it's a great example of that. 
well, if I had to pick something, my one redeeming quality would be that I'm a little more optimistic than most, I guess. And there I was, normal, everyday me, standing in front of Hope Academy, a far cry from what you'd call an ordinary school. I've really come to an amazing place. I'm not getting in over my head, am I? I felt like a very small fish lost in a very, very large ocean. Though I doubt anyone could blame me. Now, just so I don't sound like I'm blowing things out of proportion, I guess I should probably catch you up on the preparations I did last night. Oh, computer! Continuing where we last one well, left off, one of my friends knows someone who works there. She says the campus is awesome. Are, why, why are there stars around the house? I thought it's going to be a super duper high school idol this year. Anyone know who it is? And a super duper high school all star, too. It's got to be him. So, the students selected to attend Hope's Academy really are super skilled in all subjects. And, in fact, there's such a hot topic, they have a dedicated thread on a certain online message board. Half in the name of preparation and half morbid curiosity I poked around in that thread for a bit every single person mentioned was super duper high school material leaps and bounds above average Ooh, I like this take the super duper high school idol for example she enjoys fame nationwide as the lead vocalist in a highly popular girl group she's perf she's perf and then there's the super duper high school all-star he played both ace pitcher and cleanup hitter on his team, leading them to victory in the championships. As an athlete, he's at the top of the top tier, already being scouted for the pro leagues. Ooh, somebody's going to be a supermodel. I want to meet her. Next is the super duper high school supermodel. All these super dupers, super duper, super duper fine girls. What the hell does that say? Nine, nine? With her photos lining all the fashion magazines, she's a role model for teenage girls everywhere. Who the hell is this guy? To top it off, there's even a super duper high school outlaw biker. <laughs> Frighteningly, he rules Japan's largest biker gang. He's feared and revered by delinquents nationwide. After that, there's the super duper high school fighter, Sion. Swimmer Otaku. The Super Duper High School programmer, high roller, perfect, shaman, etc. etc. What appears as distinguished and elite as them, I can't help but feel small and powerless. To put it another way, I feel like a calico who accidentally stumbled into a pride of lions. However, there was something that struck me as odd. There were a couple students who, no matter how much I searched, I couldn't find any information on. While, much to my relief, my own talentless self was among the accounted for. I wasn't sure what to make of the other missing name. Could it mean I'm not the only incoming student without a laundry list of accomplishments? Thinking there might be even the slightest chance I'm not alone in my uselessness is pitiful, reassuring. Anyway, that aside, the real question is, how did a normal kid like me end up being selected to join the ranks of the super duper high schoolers? To find your answer, you need but glance at my admissions notice. Oh! I got admitted! We had Hope's Academy have selected by lottery a single candidate from a pool of average students. <laughs> They're gonna turn average students into a super duper high school idol slash all star slash baller biker outlaw thingy. Hopefully. Your name was chosen, and so we invite you to join us this year as the super duper high school luck. Stir. What? As you can see, it was mere luck. Nothing more. Oh, wow. What an honor. In all honesty, I probably should have declined. But there was no way I could, knowing that graduation all but guarantees success in life. So true. However, standing there with the school before my very eyes, I feared I may be out of my league after all. How? Not that I could just loiter in front of the gate forever, either. Loving to myself, I dropped my gaze to the admissions notice in my hand. New students, meet in the entrance hall at 8 a.m. There's still some time before we're scheduled to meet up, but 
I guess I should get going. Yeah, here goes. After mustering together far more resolve than should be necessary for one's first day of classes, I headed towards the entrance hall. And that's where we're off. Haha. -ha. Hello, anybody here? Well, here I am. Doesn't look like anyone else is here, though. I looked up at the intro hall's gorgeous clock. 7.10, it said. Well, I'm supposed to be here at 8. The meeting's at 8, which means I've still got 50 minutes. Of course, no one else is here. I was so nervous, I came here too early. There's still plenty of time. I do that all the time, actually. I come to anything like super early if i'm nervous about it i'll be like i'll be there like an hour and a half early that's like waiting like what, what do i need to do there's still plenty of time and i don't really feel like just standing here then, until then maybe i could wander the halls a bit it might help loosen me up i'm technically a student here now so there shouldn't be a problem i hope all i'm doing is killing a little time having convinced myself it wasn't such a big deal i took my first step into hopes academy that first step overflowing with hope for the start of a new life here. Or that's how it was supposed to be. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? However, the moment my foot touched the floor, the world began to twist and spin, and the sound is so. Oh, okay, it's gone. Until finally it all blended together, smelting like cotton candy. Swirling and twirling and whirling and curling into a thick, syrupy, vicious pulp. And the next second darkness that was the beginning and the end of my everyday life i should have realized it then i wasn't there because i was the super duper high school luxster but the super duper high school unluxster what that doesn't have a cool ring to it welcome to despair academy prologue uh oh what's going on here i don't want do i want to save i'll save it's scary to know What the heck? Sounds like Persona right now. We're in the TV world, guys. Hmm. <gasps> There's me. What? Huh? Uh, uh, where am I? I found myself lying face down on a hard desk. I felt like I'd been run over by a train. While I have been known to doze off in the middle of a particularly boring lecture, I couldn't figure out why I was sleeping on that desk, in an unfamiliar classroom at that. What's going on? <gasps> what the heck? Is this how the game starts? Woo! Okay! Do, 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 do. Welcome to Hope's Academy. I would like to start things off with a simple explanation of the controls. Move the crosshair using the analog pad. Okay, that's easy. When the crosshair reacts to something, press the X button to examine it. Okay. You can use the D-pad, L button, and R button to change your field of view. Why don't you try taking a look around the room? Sounds good to me. All right, let's. What the hell? Okay, let's let's look at this. Ah! I can examine. There's a trail of drool running down the desk. I was just collapsed over. Gotta wipe that up later. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to his mind. Gotta wipe that up later. You, why didn't you wipe it your sleep? And on top of the desk, orientation info. What a cheap-looking pamphlet. Why is it handwritten? The new semester has begun. Wait, scratch that from here. This academy becomes a whole new world for you guys. What is this? Someone's idea of a prank? Like the music. This looks like a security camera? The world's a dangerous place. They probably installed these to prevent break-ins. That's a pretty oddly placed security camera right there. All right, what time is it? The clock says eight o'clock. When did that happen? I came through the entrance hall at around 7.10, which means I've been here for almost an hour. Uh-oh. What else is around? Oh, what is this? Are those supposed to be windows? What the heck? This is where you expect to see windows in a normal classroom, but here, what appears to be iron plates have been rigged to the walls. To check, I gave one a light knock. <gasps> We're trapped! Yup, iron plates, all right. Incredibly thick ones, no less. But rather than analyzing what they are, should I be asking why they're here? Uh-oh. Hmm. From the looks of things, it's probably safe to assume that someone found me in the entrance hall where I was standing, nervous and disoriented, and helped me into this classroom. Which means I'm still inside Hope's Academy! But if that's true, something's not right. Something's definitely not right here. 
Those iron plates on the windows? It's like I've been tossed into a dungeon. I don't get it. What the heck is going on here? Anyway, I guess I should just go back and check out the entrance hall again. It's past when we were supposed to meet up. Everyone else is probably already there. You may now press the circle button to exit the room. Sweet. What's this TV, though? There's a TV here. It's hardly a surprise seeing a TV in a classroom at a federally accredited academy, but there's something very unsettling about it. This place is a no- this, this place is a no-go. We're gonna leave the room, guys. Oh! Like some dungeon crawling gameplay here. Even the hallways kind of creep me out. Kind of reminds me of Persona Q. Things are making less and less sense. What on earth have I gotten myself into? Anyway, to the entrance hall I go, I guess. You can move through the halls using the analog pad. And you can run by holding the circle button while moving. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We've got a map. Additionally, while traveling the halls, you can press the triangle button to view a map like so. Press the triangle button again, and poof, it's gone. How convenient. Uh, the graphics look... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This feels weird. Hotel Despair. Don't want to go through there. <laughs> good. I'm good on that. What's this? The sign says 1B, but the door won't open. Uh, it must be a class. Ooh, red doors. Let's get out of here. What's up with this creepy red door? Uh, I'm backing up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Alright, what's this? Some kind of recording room, maybe? The sign says AV room, but the door won't open. Okay. Ah, Persona Q door. The sign says school shop, but the door won't open. Never mind. Alright, I'm going to stop comparing this game to Persona for a minute. <laughs> oh, we can go in here, though. Well, the doors were conveniently open for us. When I returned to the entrance hall, I discovered I was no longer alone. <gasps> People! Civilization! Um, yeah, I'm, I'm new. Hi, guys, I guess. Then that makes you guys... Oh, you guys are new students starting today? Me too! Got here at 8. Such a nice round number. So these are the super duper high schoolers. I took a careful look around the room, examining the other 14 faces gathered there. Would it sound melodramatic if I said I felt like I'd stepped into a dream? Ah, this looks weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's nice to meet you guys. My name is Makato Neji. That's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I guess I dozed off or something. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, you did too? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking when I woke up. Wait, so you're new too? Um, uh, what? I'm having trouble keeping up here. Whoa, calm down there. Whoa! I was here at 8 o'clock! I'm not committing a crime! I was here at 8 o'clock! Yeah, exactly! Thank you, girl! Help me out! Ooh, I like you! Yeah, introduce me! I My name is Mikato. What's your name again? What do you mean? Wait, you look kind of like that biker guy! That's true, I agree with her. She's actually speaking intellectually. Ooh, you're a shy girl, huh? I can tell. Ooh, you kind of remind me of that girl uh, from High School of the Dead. I like you. Still a bit in the dark here, but I guess that'll have to wait. Either way, these introductions should be a good opportunity to start putting faces to names and getting to know my new classmates. All I really know about them is what I read in the new students at Hope's Academy thread. Alright guys, so basically how I'm going to do this is, I think I'll talk with these five first. Okay, and then it's telling me how I could talk, which, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the same as looking around. So we could even, oh god, uh, that's loud. So the cool thing about this game is, I'm able to voice, not voice act, but I'm going to kind of do what I do with my Persona Let's Play. And I'm just going to role play as my guy, my character, so I'm not going to be talking 
what other people are saying, only what my character is saying. So I'm going to make it seem like I'm actually conversating with the people in the game. That's what I do with Persona, so it works there, so let's see if it works here. You're the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Hifumi! Yamada, huh? Nice to meet you. Ah, what a cool goo. Oh, he's an Otaku! What a boss. Um, I'm only a little familiar with the two dimensional worlds. Are we talking about video games? Because if we are, then yes. Two dimensional? What now? Oh, so that means you watch a lot of anime. <laughs> There's a word for you. 10,000 to she. What the heck? Well, this guy's a smart ass. I feel sorry for his classmates, but still, 10,000 copies is a lot for a school event. <laughs> that is true, though. Uh, I don't think I understand it, so we're just going to leave it at that. So they take on a profound theme. I'll keep that in mind. What kind of theme? Whoa! Calm down there, bro. I get it. Crossing over the gender line. I'd really rather not understand this because you're talking crazy right now. Let's talk to the next guest, shall we? My boy, Leon. Kawata. I already don't like you. What's your name? What up, man? How's it going? Leon Kawata. He's supposed to be a super duper high school all star. What a boss. Wait, wait, wait. Playing as both the ace pitcher and the cleanup hitter. He led his high school baseball team to victory in the championship tournament. As an athlete, he's at the top of the top tier, already being scouted for the pro leagues. They call him the super duper high school all-star. And that very same world-class athlete is this guy. That's you! Huh? Oh, he doesn't know. Uh, I, I don't mean to sound surprised. It's just I was kind of expecting you to be a little bit more, you, you know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, if the Pillsbury Doughboy does exist, I wouldn't mind it. But Tony the Tiger suits me very well. I mean, I guess I imagined you look more like a stereotypical baseball player or something. That's how you looked in all the pictures and articles I've seen about you. You look like you are you came straight out of a freaking rock band or something. Crusty old things. Why are you embarrassed? I was just saying. I mean. Oh. So you're one of those. <gasps> okay. Okay. Leave, be quiet. Oh yeah. Tell me. Tell me anything, man. It's cool. Really? So the team carrying Ace never practiced once. I guess that's what you call a prodigy, huh? Uh! He's got a real dream. I get it. A real dream. Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, I can see it. Why don't you hook up with that? Yo, dude, ch ch calm down. You're an extreme badass. I get it. An athlete in a... Prime saying that could shatter the hearts of little leaguers all over around the world. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This cast I'm liking already. Who's this? Sayaka. Sayaka Maizono. Hi. I'm looking forward to definitely getting you better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You could tell she's gonna be the idol. I found myself enchanted by her graceful bow. That unfamiliar yet pleasant fragrance. Sayaka Maizono. I was, to say the least, surprised when I saw her name in the new students at Hope's Academy thread. As a lead vocalist in a highly popular girl group, she enjoys a great deal of fame nationwide. She's in such high demand, it seems like every magazine and TV show wants a piece, even myself, of the super duper high school idol. But the primary reason I was so surprised to find out she was coming here is something I doubt she remembers. 
The more I look at her, the prettier she seems in that skin. She looks like a doll. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. Sorry. You heard that? What? An Esper? Huh? Oh. She's really into herself, I'm guessing. That's some seriously impressive intuitions. Am I... Huh? Huh? Neji from what? Whoa! Calm down, bro. I'm trying to meet a fine chick here. And you're butting in. So you better sit down before you get wrecked. Back to you, Sayaka. Go, go ahead and talk, baby. I'm listening. What the hell? What are you talking about? We're, we're going to get to you later, sir. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Just, just keep talking. No! She left! It's not like she had something to say! But I guess it's not like we won't have another chance to talk, just like she said. She left! We were just, it was getting good! Alright, let's meet the next person. Toko Fukawa. Fukawa. Yeah, I'm already forgetting your name. Let me guess, you're the shy girl? I'm gonna call you Fuki for short. Sure. For short. Fuki, Fuki. She entered the literally spot spotlight with a novel she wrote at the age of 10. And two years ago, her masterpiece romance novel, While the Scent of the Shore Still Lingers, turned fishermen into a prized commodity among her young female friends. If only she actually had a life, she would probably have a boyfriend. She is none other than the genius girl author. The super duper high school bookworm, apparently. When I hear a romance novelist, I envision a sophisticated, experienced older woman. And she's not talking. Ugh. I'm not looking at you. Whoa! No one said anything about that. Calm down. Obscene? I I, I didn't I didn't say anything. Calm down. Whoa. What am I dying to say? <laughs> I didn't say that, but <laughs> you're pretty much on the spot. I mean, I'm I didn't say that. Whoa, okay, calm down. Calm down. So I'm guessing she has a low self-esteem. Aw, I feel bad now. What a crazy persecution complex. Talk about an author's imagination put to the wrong use. Yeah. Can't I'm not talking to her again. All right, who the hell is this guy? This this little guy here that wants to go ahead and butt in on my conversation with my girl. Really? Oh, this guy is so whack. Kayotaka Ishimaru. This guy is so whack. The new students that... <laughs> not even going to talk about this guy. What a waste of time. <laughs> I'm kidding. While serving on the school's disciplinary committee, he built a considerable reputation, reputation for himself. As a man who values rules above all else, earning him his monitor, the super duper high school perfect. Or prefect, I should say. <laughs> Which means perfect. Your name was... <laughs> Whatever, dude. Oh my god, this guy. I'll stay true to my name. Something about this guy sets my teeth on edge. I just want to slap the shit out of him. And we, ooh, I think I'll talk to these five next. So we'll talk to the next five in the next, ooh, I like this girl. I'm going to call her AO for short. For short. I keep saying for short. For short, for short, for short, for short. Mondo. I like this girl too. She looks. She reminds me of the girl on uh, Death Parade. So I will see you guys in the next episode. If there's another episode of this. I don't know. I just wanted to try this game out. I wanted to see how the vis whole visual novel thing would go. Would you know end up being. If it was going to be something I wanted to do or not. This game is supposed to be very popular. So I'll keep playing it. If you guys want to keep seeing it. Click that like button on this video. So have an amazing day.
Deuces.